And then we think that we've developed this concept that fostering dependency and enabling people is a bad thing to do. So if we have a parent who never shows up on time for their appointments in school, to arrange to either pick them up or get them there, or make the appointment at a time when they can get there, or go to see them, is just fostering dependency. That's not a good thing. And I can't tell you how many times I hear from people, they, and I just heard this recently at another uh, training I was doing, they have to learn to do these things on their own because that's the real world. The real world doesn't have people who are going to help them with these things, so they have to do it on their own. And if they could do it on their own, they wouldn't need our supports. While they have our supports, we need to provide them for them. But again, that idea that fostering dependency is not a bad thing, uh, it's actually a good thing, because all of us need that level of dependency. Um, we need to build that. Uh, again, when I used to train case managers, I would look at treatment plans, and every single treatment plan had people, and this was older children, adolescents, and adults, that their goal was to live independently in the community. And um, when I taught case managers, I would say, how many of you live independently in the community? And a few people raised their hands, and I would say, that means you don't count on anybody for anything at any point in your entire life. And they would put their hands down. And I would say, you know, what we want to do is foster interdependence, which means that we want to build a safety net so that they know who they can count on, who they can go to. Probably the most important thing for youth with an FASD, I think, or one of the most important things, is to identify a person they can go to anytime they are not sure about something. The idea that they will learn how to read things properly, how to respond properly in situations, how to recognize dangerous people or dangerous situations is setting them up to fail. If we can teach them anytime you're not sure about something, you call me, or, and here's your backup person, that to me is the real goal. Anytime, we want to, anytime you're not sure about something, here's who you call. Here's who you go to. 